<laughs> okay. All right. So what else? Did I, I had a follow up question, which is you keep talking about tuning, right? Mm -hmm. And so I see different types of tuning. I see, uh, you know, uh, based on the Harmon, you know, yeah. What is that? Sean Olive and Floyd Tool. They have this Harmon curve that's supposed to be based on their research. The the curve that everybody seems to like. Most people seem to like when it comes to headphones. Mm -hmm. Um. But I've seen different types of tuning, right? Mm -hmm. What what's correct? What sounds good to you? You know, tell me a little bit more about that. Um, I think it's for me. It's like the way that they did these last ones, the the ten T four, is basically like like what you're talking about, which is like that Harmon curve. But they sort of chop off anything that would have been sibilant or way way too high to where you start getting you know hearing fatigue from from it being too clear or too bright is what they would say, right? Um, so it's sort of a modified harmon and it sounds really good. There's some people who mm. really enjoy just pure detail and pure clarity, um, with, you know, understated bass. They don't want anything boosted. They want it just to sound very neutral and flat. That's not how I like to listen to my stuff. Um, especially for all the different types of genres that I listen to. Um, I still want to have bass. I just don't want the bass to roll over everything else because that's what tends to happen when they make something a little too bass boosted it'll roll over the mid-range and that's where human voice lives and yeah you know it's you don't want you don't want that ruined so for me per personally um i like i mean i like a little extra bass if we can if we can have it but not at the expense of the mid-range so that's that's really what it comes down to so it would flat a flat sound signature would that just sound bad or, or no, no 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 it's um it would just sound neutral so it would give you um theoretically yeah, everything's even, and it'll give you the best, like, um, the closest representation to the original recording. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so flat sound signature, when it comes to in-ear monitors, is not necessarily bad. Is that no. correct? No, it's okay. just, it's like different flavors for different people, So, which is the beauty of it. So we have, you know, different flavors for everybody, which is nice. Now we can kind of get what we want. Got it. That's all. That's all I had. That's all <laughs> no, I had as far as in-ear all... monitors. I think I had those, like... You know, because I'm searching these forums and they're saying all this stuff, and I'm like, uh, I need to talk to somebody about this. 